So let's talk a little bit about typical GAN failure modes. Now, like, there exists one failure mode which is just bad images. Now, here you see a few of them. GANs, for some reason, really like eyes. Uh, I guess there's just a lot, of, not awful lot of uh, eyes in photographs made by human photographers. But here you see bad, bad, bad images. Um, now, what does that mean? Bad images means that the discriminator should assign very low probability to them. Now, why doesn't that happen? It turns out that I think a lot of uh, discriminators have trouble understanding the big structure of that. Now, like It's really, relatively hard for a system to state something like every animal has exactly two eyes. No, three of them. Difference between two and three, it's it's hard for the for a traditional uh, for a traditional confnet to do something like count the number of eyes. Now here's another failure mode. Now like here we see a couple of beautiful faces made by a face scan. Does anyone see something that's wrong about this? Any any problems here? Well, when I first saw this, I couldn't do it because I'm practically face blind. But let's look at this. Uh, here you see these two images. Look, they look like they're slightly different posture and uh, slightly different look otherwise. But otherwise, this looks like it's the same person. Look at these two, grayscale and color. But it still very much looks like it's the same person. Look at these people here. Not like slightly different posture, but this may very well be the same person. And this is something, and you can say, this is a good way of faking images in general. No, like you don't need to be able to draw all images. You will usually get away by like, with having a small number of them, at least when it comes to humans. Now, like this thing at first would completely have fooled Conrad. But you, we can see instead of having learned like a real generative model for all faces, it produces a relatively small number of faces. Now, what's the idea of this so-called mode collapse? Now, you can say there are different peaks, there's different people in our training set, and they, we can observe them from multiple directions. And now, instead of learning a model for all of them, it learns a model that only contains some of them. And that means that under this, uh, under this model, if we only produce green ones, you know, like the ones, the images that we actually produce will be high probability under the model that we have. You know, the model will just basically only understand this part. These are in the real data sets. And this is something that, that the discriminator won't overly be focusing. It's just like, yeah, I haven't seen those. But, but the fact that there's more of them here because it isn't overly conspicuous versus if it would produce an image that would be in between here, it would be very easy to see for the discriminator to say this should have zero probability. Now here's, for example, uh, uh, an example of mode collapse with something like MNEST, where it might produce the same weird characters over and over. So let us get a little bit of an intuition about mode collapse, because arguably mode collapse is the concept that really prevents these GANs from being good models for real probability distributions. So very few statisticians would recommend that you use GANs to do statistics with it. And mode collapse is arguably the reason.